We're going to talk about simple failover with a Peplink Max router today and also go over the different health check methods available to you for monitoring the connections. Changing the priorities on your Peplink Max router is as simple as dragging and dropping them to the desired priority, as I'm showing here. When you have multiple WANs active like this, simple failover from one connection to the next and back is configured by default. If needed, the way in which the router monitors the health of your WAN connections can be adjusted. Access these settings under the Detail tab for the connection. We'll start with a wired WAN. The Health Check Method field specifies the method to be used for this WAN connection. By default, wired WAN connections use DNS lookup. This means DNS lookups will be issued to test the connectivity with configurable target DNS server IP addresses. The router will use its DNS servers by default, but manual ones can be entered. The other options include disabled ping and HTTP. Disabled means that the WAN connection is always considered to be up and will not be treated as down for any IP routing errors. If we select ping, a method we prefer as an alternative to DNS, then ICMP ping packets will be issued to test connectivity with configurable target IP addresses or host names. For the HTTP method, HTTP connections will be issued to test the connectivity with configurable URLs and strings to match. Here's what that looks like. The other settings here the health check control how quickly the connection must respond to be treated up or down as well as how many checks, check retries, and recovery retries are required to drop or re-establish a connection. Remember to click save and apply when you're done making changes. Lastly, if we look under the details for our cellular WAND, we have one additional health check method. Smart check. This is the default setting and is only available for cellular connections. It works similarly to a ping method. The difference is that there are no addresses that need to be entered. That's all there is to simple failover and health check methods. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe to our channel.